The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 11th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be Pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out. What those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Go ahead and send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A little bit of a mixed bag out here. The only mix is in the Dow. It's off 130, mostly by, uh, I think, held by Disney. But I think Apple's also trading just a tad lower out there. It's off uh, 16 pennies. Otherwise, the other U.S. markets are trading to the upside. The Dow's up 5, NASDAQ 166, Russell 25, Semis uh, 64, Trandy's 157, Gold's up 16 bucks, Silver's up 52 pennies, Lights we coup back 60 cents, Natural Gas up 21 pennies. That's 4% to the upside. Leading the charge dollar wise, it is Dillard's. 34 buckaroonies, 11.5%. Amazon up 10, quarter of a percent. Shopify, 37 or 2.5%. Nice Limited is having a nice day, 7%. 19 buckaroonies. Silvergate Capital is up 20 bucks, that's 10%. To the downside, leading the charge here, let's see, is it Disney? Probably not. No, Beyond Meat. Yeah, you know, kid, it's beyond my, it's beyond my comprehension. But Beyond Meat. Is off 13 bucks or 14 uh, percent. Disney's down 11 bucks or six and a half percent. Burlington stores 19 bucks, six and a half percent. Ring Central seven bucks or six, yes, yeah, seven bucks, two and a half percent. And Upstart Holdings down 670. That's off two and six tenths percent. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at, but we've got a caller and we have call head seating here. So let's go out to Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. Victor, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good, good. I'm just wondering about a PLTR plant here. The earnings came out yesterday. I don't know what Fibonacci level are going to or wait on it. Yeah, so what are you looking – tell me what you're looking for specifically. Are you looking to enter this? Are you uh, long? Yeah, I'm looking for an entry point. Like I had a 22.69 or a 21.62 Fibonacci level Okay. from the low so, uh, going to the high. I don't know if I should even pay attention to that over where at. Can't say. I mean, I, I use a, a different set of tools. We've got a number of yeah, guys here that use the – yeah, so right now, what this did yesterday with earnings, uh, Victor, it blew through a B point, which was at $23.02, and it did it with volume, twice the volume. Mm -hmm. So what that suggests to you and I is that that now sets up an A to B equals CD to the downside. The first price target is in the 2084 level. That doesn't mean that price stops there. Doesn't mean that price necessarily gets to that level, but that is the current pattern that's in play. What you'd be looking for mm -hmm. as price gets towards that level and it could be 2084, it could be 1913, that's the 1.272 expansion. But as price gets into that level, what you'd be looking for there uh, is some type of bullish reversal candle. So price is below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. That was yesterday, blew through it with volume. You're below it today. Says the trend is to the downside. Price is trading below the weekly profile. Hasn't traded enough to generate monthly data. So, Victor, I say watch for the 2084 level first. 
And if you don't see a bullish reversal candle, that means it wants to continue to head lower. That's what the A to B equals CD pattern will do. And when it's going to signal to you the potential of a bottom, it'll generate a bullish reversal candle. Okay. Is there um, any how accurate What's is your software? Say that again? How accurate is your software that you're using that you're so well defined on what you're saying? How accurate is it? Well, I don't know. In 2018, I was the market timer of the year. In 2019, I missed being market timer of the year by four points. So I, I think the software has uh, has proven itself. I, I don't, you know, so okay. th these are the patterns. Now, th these are the patterns. What about these, like, you have these nine waves or nine count? What count are we on on that one? You know, you said you're on the really same. Uh, today will be bar number two, so it's not it's not something to even consider. The the pattern, the only pattern. Uh, there's only one pattern in play here right now, and that's the A to B equals CD down pattern. If there's new data, something happens tomorrow, what have you, then you know we'll come back and take a look at it. But right now, there's only one pattern mm -hmm. that you have to focus on. That's the A to B hey, equals what CD. What would have pattern. to come out there to make that pattern change, though? You need a high volume high or something. How can we bust through to make your mind change? Like it goes up a dollar. Price would have to change sure, the pattern. Like to what changes uh, the no, pattern? It's an easy it's an easy question to answer. All we have to do is look at the daily time frame chart. That's the left hand panel. Mm -hmm. And if price get closed back above twenty four oh nine, that would change my mind. Or the charts would change their mind. Twenty four oh nine. You'd have to All see right. it close above that. All All righty? All right, thank you, sir. Have a good day. You bet. Bye. Thanks so much for calling. That was Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. And that was Palantir, PLTR, is the uh, ticker symbol. But folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. Uh, since we were together last evening, there is a new piece of information that's out, and that is the brand new uh, that is the new profile that did take hold inside the Dow Equity Future contract. So that is going to be panel number three from your left, panel number two from your right. So where are the support levels? And it's the Dow that is the weakest out here, and prices trading into its support area the support area because it's a bullish structured profile is between 35.759 and 35.911 now in the case of the es mini she has held the bottom of her profile so she's just waiting around for the others to figure out what to do the nq would need to close above 16.105 that's the top of the daily profile but doesn't do that then it's suggesting to you and i that price should go target the 15.677 to 15.763 area the russell 2000 having a nice day today it's just consolidating with inside its daily profile it generated a sell the d point pattern um, and uh, price got toward support. Support here is 23.72. So that's what these profile charts uh, show us. If we go switch over, let me get, give me a moment here just to to uh, change screens and pull up our other daily futures contracts out there. So uh, in a momentarily, we should have that going. And the upper, so the other element to be paying attention to is going to be the oscillator and change line level. So what we can see here is so far today, the move higher has been nothing more than a counter trend move to resistance. And that resistance, our friend support, our old friend support, which was the green oscillator and change line. So you can see in the case of the ES Mini, the ES Mini gets down to the uh, 4650, or got get gets up to the 4658 area, rejects that level. The NQ is doing the same thing. It got up to its uh, 16098-ish area. Uh, has rejected price there. So um, that says caution, Will Robinson. Don't know why this thing is taking so long to update. Must be some other charts. In the Dow, the Dow, in essence, tested and rejected the oscillator and change line. The Russell 2000 is in a world of its own. That's odd. What the heck is going on here? Um, but the Russell 2000, it, it, when I say it has a mind of its own, it's already above its green oscillator and change line. So it's really a neutral signal. So the Russell 2000 is neutral. The others are, uh, they might want to head to lower price. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The uh, chart on the screen right now is our Proterra Inc. PTRA is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for Dan and our Tigers, Dan. And, uh, Dan, when we take a look at this, what jumps out at me is the consolidation pattern that has been confirmed here. So very solid consolidation at the top, very solid consolidation at the bottom. Price is trading into a swing point. I know you know this. Uh, that had volume. That had pretty big volume. 11,252,000 shares. It's moving into with lighter volume, or about 3 million shares today. So your resistance level, really the top of this consolidation, uh, you're using about 12.97. You know, I've got about 12.58 or so out there. Uh, and if price can clear that level, what it would do is give us, it would give me at least a uh, consolidation measured move in the 16 plus dollar area. Uh, as I take a look at the white background charts, price is above the weekly profile and daily profile. So that's bullish, just again, but in a consolidation pattern. You can also see at this 1244 mark, that is its next TD9 count breakdown level. That has acted as a good level of resistance. You're trading at 1245 right now. So I close above that. Um, would be a positive, and that would really, for me, set up the uh, target of that consolidation on the daily chart. It would set up a move up to its next breakdown area, and that would be at 1760. The weekly time frame chart just doesn't provide us with a ton of data, other than it may be targeting the 1840 level. So see if this thing can uh, break through its consolidation. If it does, it's up, up, and away to that uh, measured move area, at least in the 16-ish uh, type area. So hope that helps you out, uh, Dan. And thanks so much for the request. We've got a caller on the line. We've got two. We've got Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. Thank you for taking the call. My pleasure. I'm a Vietnam vet, so I'm, um, today's Thank you. my day. Thank anyway, you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you Jamf Holdings, J A M F. Yep. Yes. Is uh, it's got hammered this week, and uh, you know these these guys do cloud software for Apple infrastructure and also provide security for the Mac and things 
a lot of different things that they work with with schools and so forth like that with, okay. with Mac and uh, Apple. And it got hammered this week, and I was thinking of entering it on a long-term 30, 45-day call. How does that look? Hmm. So as we take a look at it, what it did yesterday was it pulled back uh, and closed below the bottom of its support level. It's daily's pro profile support at 44.18. Does it with some good volume, 1.8 million shares. Today you're already 1.9 1 .9 million shares, and you're although you're trading just above yesterday's low, you've been able to – take that out so it's pushing lower with volume <clears throat> suggest to me that the move is not over <clears throat> now where did why did price stop where it did that would be the question i would ask myself so i just asked myself that question and that's because uh what price was able to do is get back to the top of the weekly profile so 4068 is a number to keep an eye in if price closes below that then that's going to suggest lower price the question is lower price to where Two target levels would be 31.39 and 34.75. But let's just take a peek at the white background chart, see if there's some other information out here uh, that you and I can 30, glean. 30, what was it, 89, 39, 89? Got one second here. That would be uh, 31.19 to 34.75. Okay. That's if and only if we get a close below 40.68. It's a level of okay. support. It's old resistance. It's the top of the weekly profile. And that's why price stopped where it did. But with volume pushing lower out here, you know, kind of signaling to you and I that it wants to try to take that on and maybe close below it. Now, if it does, then the level to be looking at would be 38.22. That would be one level to look at. 38.22 is where this stock most recently broke out from. It's natural for stocks to pull back to their breakout level. But if, that is, if price gets down there, Ron, what you want to then do is flip over to a short-term time frame chart, like a 30-minute, a 65-minute chart, and you'd want to see some kind of bottom. Much like we see right now, we have a seventh wave move, we have a TD9 count bottom, we have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So we've got everything that it needs. This was a Four River Morning Star, but price is now just testing that resistance level of that oscillator and change line. So it's just a little bit of a counter trend rally. But in essence, that's what you would be looking for. I'm not suggesting that we look for it right now and take the uh, trade right now, but let me look at the other short-term charts out here, just for that of it. TD9 count on the 65 minute we don't have anything on the 130 nothing on the uh, 195 so this is suggesting to you and i that we should see some little rally out here but i would still be patient on this and hopefully you can okay. get it i'd say that target of 3822 would be a good area to be watching and of course you're going to watch 4068 first uh so we saw those short-term bottoming signals not unusual when you have price pulling back to a, a clear, a, 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 an area where you could identify a bottom or a level of support, and that was at top of that weekly profile. But the volume uh, matrix on this says that you got to be patient. Okay. Okay. Appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, my pleasure, and thank you so much for your service to this country. That is a that's a wonderful Boy, thank thing. You. That is. Oh, you bet. That is Ron in uh, Denver. We've got another caller on the line. It is uh, David in Panama City. David, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Yes, sir. Number one timer. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm doing okay. And Lamb Research. Good deal. Yeah, yeah. Lamb Research. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Unlike some people, I don't uh, try to uh, tear you apart for your oh. software or no, no, uh, no, intelligence totally cool. and research and experience and all that. I just I want to learn. Yeah, I no called problem. you, or I didn't call. I sent you an email Tuesday. I was flying back from New York, and I was in Atlanta Airport. Um, about a week and a half ago, I bought the 600 uh, calls on Lamb Research. Okay. And um, I'm a little up. Um, I just keep thinking this thing. Well, on Tuesday, you said it needs to, to close above the 621.99. It has pushed above that. And on Tuesday, in fact, uh, just in the, the waning minutes of the trading day, it uh, closed eight cents below that to okay. 621.91. Okay. And then yesterday, you know, that thing tumbled. And you also said if it closed below 608 ish, to watch out and then today's action is it's been up you know to um 6 mm -hmm. mm -hmm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to just get my bearings on this thing to see if it's going to break above the 622 and head on up to the 650 like you mentioned or 
uh, are we going to seek lower ground? So Okay, so uh, excellent parameters. We do have some new information that's been provided to us since we spoke. And, and if you sent me an email on Tuesday, I don't recall responding to it. So I apologize for that. But it's also because I don't recall seeing it. So uh, if I don't respond to you in 24 hours, I, I, it's because somehow no, you, you I overlooked covered it on the, the show. Excuse me? You, oh, you covered show. it on the show. Me. Got it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at land research. So, so the six twenty one ninety nine area that was a swing point that we were taking a look at from back on September twenty seventh. Now, what has transpired since we last spoke is you have a new daily profile, and this daily profile will give you a support and resistance area. The support area is all the way down at five ninety two twenty one. We'll take a look at my other charts to see if there's a signal that price might pull back to that level. And your resistance area here is going to be six twenty three oh six. That is the only profile resistance right now. Now, in the short term, if price can close above 623.06, then the next resistance level, profile-wise, would be 673.80. I'm going to pull over the white background charts. Now, I don't like what I see so far, which is now a TD9 count top that has taken place. So do me a favor. Please hold on through this break. Got to go pay some bills here. But we'll be back in about four minutes, and we're going to take a look at LAM research. We'll take a look at the daily, profile, the daily charts, the weekly charts, and anything that is going to assist David in Panama City. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We're looking at 
land research. This is the daily time frame chart. We're doing this with David in Panama City. And uh, so, David, this formed a TD9 count top really yesterday. It was the completion of it. Bar number nine took place the day before. We always have to let that bar number 10 uh, complete out here. And we can see that the green red line, the oscillator and change line, changed colors about four or five days ago. Now, what this signals to you and I, because of the valid topping pattern that we have in place, is that price and that line should tag each other. I'm not saying that price moves all the way back to 592.21, but I wouldn't be surprised because it's the bottom of the profile. But it could be a combination of price moving sideways while the line moves up and so forth. But you're in a trade where you're losing premium. And the question would more be like, do I see a reason for this to take out the 623 level? And the answer is I don't with this pattern out here. So uh, when is uh, the, the, the trade you're in? Are you in an option? I, I, I apologize. Are you in an options trade? Are you... I think you are, right? Yes, our option that expires uh, next Friday, the 19th option, expires, monthly option. Okay, uh, so you're, you, you haven't lost any money. You've made a little bit of money based on the TD9 count top, the oscillator and change line. I take those profits. I take that trade off the table. To the extent that you want to get back into that trade, then what I'd be watching for, see if price will pull back that 592 level. If it does that, test it and holds it, then I'd say, okay, go ahead and, and re-enter that trade somehow, if that's still what you want. That could signal that price would be on its way to 650.33. But right now, the signal to you is that uh, you're just going to get premium eaten away if you hang on to this thing. Because it's either a move sideways or a move lower, and either of those two, you're not really going to appreciate Right. And your your pocketbook's not going to appreciate. So I, I take I take if it's me I take the money. But but uh, it is because we've got this new resistance and a topping signal that is in place right now. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, is there any other information on this specific instrument that I can provide you with that would be helpful? Uh, don't say. Uh, if we get. Um, a bounce in, in the overall indices. Yes. Would, I mean, LAM is a little bit, um, like my weeklies still have a little bullish bias, I think. I agree. Uh, definitely not being an agree expert, with you. but um, would there be enough assistance if we get like good number tomorrow and get a bounce and then subsequent next week? Because usually the week of uh, monthly expiration sometimes has a bullish mm -hmm. bias. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well, I mean, I don't I, mind I, pulling the trigger. I'm, I'm almost flat. I have, I have just a little profit. I don't mind taking that off. Sure. Um, I just, I, yeah. So you're you know, you're exactly I'm, right. No, listen, ahead. you are exactly right. If we take, if we were to focus only on the weekly chart, which would be a hard thing for me to do, knowing that you've got an option that's going to expire next Friday. But you are exactly right. If I was just going to focus on the weekly chart, I agree with you. This looks bullish. Price is above the top of its daily profile. Price is above its oscillator and change line and says that it wants higher price. But in the meantime, we've got this valid topping signal that took place. And this oscillator and change line, it changed color. And I just know what the normal pattern is. That doesn't mean it can't do something different. But what you and I are doing here is just playing the probabilities. Um, if I didn't see a topping signal in the daily time frame, then I would say, okay. But still, you got next Friday that you're dealing with out here. So I think the daily right now is just taking over a little bit for the, for the you know, versus the weekly. The level that you would like to see price close above to say, you know what, Stevie's wrong about this, is 620.46. And where that comes from, at least at the moment, where that comes from, is a 30-minute time frame chart, which formed a TD9 count bottom. Price then bounced, but that is the TD9 breakdown resistance level, 620.46, and we would need to see that. And if you're going to ask me if I was just trading this intraday on a 30-minute chart, would I take a long trade now? The answer would be no, because I just don't have that signal that it's really going to get up there and do that. And that's part of the reason why I'm saying, you know what, uh, this trade here, I'd, I don't have a, a – I just think you're better off just uh, you know getting your capital back and either sitting on the sidelines – to the extent that you want to still trade this, wait to see if it does pull back to test and hopefully reject that green oscillator and change line and bottom of the profile in the 592 area. That, that's what I would do if I were you. All righty. Thank you, sir. Hey, you bet. Thanks so much for calling. And uh, I believe we've got – do we have another caller on the line? Do we – uh, I apologize. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't think that we do. I think that the uh, – yo, we do. We do have another caller. It's Brent DeMartinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? And thanks for waiting. How are you today? 
Well, thanks we for taking it. the call, Steve. I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you very much. What was the symbol that you wanted to take a look at? The stock itself is called a CRISPR Therapeutics, and the symbol is a CRSP, like CRISPR. Perfect, perfect. Trading right now at 88.19. Are you doing a little bottom fishing? Yeah, I just, I've been watching this for a while. I don't have a position, but I did see there's a couple of patterns that are kind of taking shape and getting near completion. And I just, uh, there's on the daily, I can see an AB equal CD. That one, I think, is pretty close to completing. On the weekly, there's a potentially another one. That one would be further down. So I was going to ask you about that. And then also, I think on the weekly, um, on the TD count, I think this is bar number eight. So I just, those are the things I'm kind of looking at. Just want to get your thoughts. And it seems like, at least on the daily, it has better relative strength as it's making these bottoms. So just some of the things I noticed. Just want to get your thoughts. Excellent. So excellent observations. We're taking a look, uh, folks, again at the CRSP. That is CRISPR Therapeutics. And you're exactly right. This does. This did hit yesterday. The uh, one to one A to B equals C D which was the price projection there was the 86.22 level. Yesterday, price got down to a low of uh, 86.66. So now what we'd be waiting for here, Brent, would be the bullish reversal candle. If we don't get a bullish reversal candle in the A to B equals CD folklore language, that would suggest that price might go target the 70.87 area. As far as the daily time frame chart, yet price is pushing lower, doing with less relative energy. And what that tells us is, again, if we got a bullish, if we receive a bullish reversal candle, then we would have two bottoming signals out here. So I think on the daily time frame chart, you've got this nail with regard to the patterns. And now you just need the bulls to show you that they want to go ahead and form that bottom. From a TD nine count standpoint, it is bar number four that I have us in today. On a weekly basis, we are in bar number eight. I think you might have said said that or something like that. So, uh, you know, bar number eight, nine, or the bar following nine can't identify the bottom. Since we're in bar number eight, if we did get that bullish reversal candle, then I would go ahead and fire away. And one of the reasons I would fire away is we should at least get a bounce when we get that bottom in there. And much like the uh, L. Lamb research that we looked at, on a weekly chart, the oscillator and change line changed colors about uh, six, seven weeks ago. And so we should see price get up to that level. That level, which right now is about the bottom of the profile in the 103.61 area, that's still a good enough. You're at 88 bucks. You know, that, that seems like a reasonable reward risk. And it may be a bottom, more, maybe more than just a counter trend move up to that level out there. But that's what I see when I take a look at the daily and the weekly charts. Any questions about those charts or anything else that we've spoken about so far? If you were to draw in the AB equals CD on the weekly, what would be your uh, price projection on that? I'm sure it's a fair amount lower, like probably down to 50s or something, but just curious. Excellent question. Yeah, so let's go So let's go see this. So the, the large A to B equals CD pattern, that is in play here right now. Uh, and our A point is going to be starting up here on the trading day or the trading week of January. Oh, shoot. Let's see if I can do this quick enough. So I've got about five seconds. So there's our A point, our B point. I want to answer Brent's question here. And then the C point. So the one to one takes us to 4467. 4467. Hey, Brent, you can hold on if you want. We're just about to go to a hard break here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, 
is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at CRISPR Therapeutics with Brent in Martinez, California. So, Brent, the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD on the weekly gets us to 44.67. But if this does generate a bullish reversal candle, I like it. And the reason why I like it is because of the daily pattern that we took a look at, uh, the A to B equals CD, the TD, potential TD9 count bottom of our number 8 on the weekly chart. And we look at the monthly chart, prices testing a level of support. And that is the bottom of its... Uh, monthly profile. Now, the interesting thing here, Brent, is both the center of the monthly profile and the bottom are the same thing. So this is a really strong support area, 8862. Even if price is trading just below that level, the month is, is certainly not over. So, uh, you know, can price get to that 4467? Sure. But right now I'm seeing things that uh, kind of suggest that this is going to try to form a bottom here. But only time will tell. I would just wait for that bullish reversal candle. Uh, what other information can I provide to you? I think that's it, Steve. That's uh, definitely helpful, and I'm in agreement with you. I'm just going to be watching this more on the daily time frame and, and see if, we, like you said, we get some kind of bullish reversal or something that confirms that pattern. If that happens, then, yeah, I think I'd, something I would be willing to take a shot at. Perfect, yeah. perfect. I'm going to have to uh, create a, a list here. It's called the Brent List. And I, I put this one on it and keep, hey, no, no, I mean that in a very nice, kind way out there. So, hey, by the way, one of our dinners, he's, he's a kind of an, an expert, I'd say, in the uh, in, in this type of an area and uh, a lot of investments there. He wanted me to pass on to, it's Dan in, uh, from Boston, originally, I believe, from Boston. Uh, he wanted me to pass on to a ticker symbol BLUE as a gene editing uh, company as well, just for you to take a look at. So I haven't looked at it, but I, I did want to pass that on to you. All right. And, and uh, so thanks so much for the call. And uh, I'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. That sounds good, Steve. I was going to let you know I was happy that I got out of uh, that pay safe. I think we looked at that at one point. I didn't have shares of it, but I, I just had some options. And I, I wasn't doing much. And I just said, I'm going to go. I had enough other things going on. I decided to close the good. position. And today, it's like you wouldn't even have had a chance. Even if it had stopped, and it, it would have just gapped down right past the stop, I would imagine so. Yeah, That's you know, sometimes that sometimes that happens, but sometimes that happens, but you still got to take the medicine, right? Got to take that stop and yeah, come exactly. back and look at it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the medicine right, well, doesn't taste. So sometimes that oh, medicine ahead, doesn't yeah. taste so good. No. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. You just have a great week and, and uh, enjoy your weekend. 
you, you too. Thanks so much. That was Brent in Martinez, California. A couple of requests inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, one is uh, from uh, John who wants to take a look at uh, GBR as a tickle, ticker symbol or tickle symbol. And uh, GBR is uh, New Concept Energy, uh, trading right now below the uh, bottom of its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles, Otter. So let's pull, pull over our other chart on GBR. John is specifically looking for TD9 count uh, patterns. No, it's not GBR. That was GBR. What is it? You say no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. So that's not it. So uh, I will GBR dot V, GBR dot V. The great. Hmm. I apologize, John. I don't have access to the Canadian exchanges. Hmm. Uh, very, very sorry about that. But uh, uh, the the miser in me uh, has not uh, has not decided not to pay for the uh, the Canadian exchange. My my apology for that. So don't don't have an, don't have a way to really do that. So, uh, but I could I could certainly do an analysis for you on GP GBR, <laughs> uh, which is a new concept energy. But I know that's not what you want. So sorry about that. We do have another question out here. Yeah, I know. And we have another question out here, which is take a look at ARCO. That's also for one of our dinners. I, I apologize. I don't remember who sent it in. Uh, but uh, it, so it doesn't matter. Let's go take a look at it. So Arcos Dorados Holdings. Trading above the uh, daily profiles. Trading above the weekly profiles. Trading above the monthly profiles. So Arcos looks pretty good. Let's go take a look at its daily and weekly charts out here. Oh, we, we sort of like this because yesterday price took out. It's a TD9 breakdown resistance level of five. I'm sorry, two, yeah, yesterday, 522. Does it with a wide ranging bar? I'll assume that there was some nice volume behind the move out here. So this is suggesting that its next price target area is at 614. That's the next TD9 count breakdown level on the daily time frame. On a weekly chart out here, let's see what kind of pattern did we get. Uh, we have a TD9 count bottom that is in place out here. Price above that oscillator and change line. So this suggests that Arco should go tag the 588 level. Uh, real quickly on a 30-minute time frame chart, not much there. So, yeah, I mean, the daily, the weekly, the monthly looks good. And this suggests that it wants to continue to motor on higher. I apologize. I don't recall who put in the request, but I did get the symbol into the charts uh, ahead of time. Uh, we had a request to take a look at from Satish, uh, GP. Uh, GP is a what? Uh, green Power Motor. So Green Power Motor. Let me get this rolling on my other set of charts out here. And right now it is consolidating inside its daily profile. So the resistance level is 1480. The support level is 1380. That's on the daily time frame. The weekly resistance level, which is also below, is 1457. Support there would be 1270. Price above the top of the monthly. So we're just going to focus on the daily and the weekly charts right now and see what other messages this provides to us. So on the daily time frame, let me just populate this properly. I guess it is populated properly. So we can see that price has pulled back to test its oscillator and change line. It's trading with inside the profiles, but this is still uh, more of a bullish message. Now, if price were to close below that oscillator and change line, it's not that much further below. It is actually at 1452. We're at 1454. So you got two pennies there. If it closes above it, it says you take another run for the top of that profile, maybe it's recent highs. And if it can do that, then you're looking at a move to 1757. If it closes below that oscillator and change line, again, we're just talking about two pennies here, well, really three pennies in order to get below, then that says this thing will want to explore the 1380 to 1420 level. So that's what the daily chart is communicating to us with regard to GP. The monthly or the weekly chart out here, as we mentioned, price was back inside. I don't know if we mentioned it, but price did get back inside his profile. But that's okay because it's still above the Stevie's red line at 1397. Now, if it can close above on a weekly basis, above 1454, I think it's just sitting, let me make sure I get, give you the right number, 1457. If it can close above 1457, that would signal a move to the 1852 area. But what you're really going to be watching here is that daily time frame right now. And you really like to see this close back above 1480. Then yesterday's low could have been the uh, C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. But regardless of that, the next resistance to the upside would be the 1757 level. Monthly chart out here, what kind of message do we have? Really not much. So, again, we're going to focus on the daily and the weekly. I think the parameters are pretty well established out here. Um, it's, not a clear, it's not clear to me which way 
uh, this thing wants to head because it's sitting inside, you know, the resistance zone of that uh, daily profile. So, and again, I don't recall who asked for that, but it was inside the Tiger Stand. I wanted to make sure that we got to it. That was for Satish. Oh, Satish asked for that. So, um, happy to cover that. Was there anything else? I don't think so. But if there was, uh, Steve, A-S-T-S, if you have time, that's Jimmy. So absolutely, A-S-T-S is trying to go through the uh, den out there. Well, I really multitask. So, Jimmy, what this did today is it got up into resistance. That is 1275. So that's your battleground. That's what you want to see price uh, take out. A-S-T-S. I want to get this going on the other charts as well. Uh, above the weekly profile, nothing for us to look at on a monthly time frame. Um, give me a moment. A-S-T-S. Here's the daily. Oh, you've got a TD9 count top out here. So that TD9 count top, uh, it's really kind of a neutral signal right now because price is above that green oscillator and change line. Let's finish this when we come back from this breakout here. That's ticker symbol ASTS. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Back to ASTS. So, Jimmy, you know, when you get a, when you get a topping pattern, in this case here was a TD9 count top, all that really first tells us is that price should go back and test support. And support is health. 
So the support being that oscillator and change line, which is currently printed at 1193. So you're really in a neutral position. There's no reason to sell, no reason to sell whatsoever out here. And if price can clear 1275, you're looking at 1424. Now, if price close of low 1193, that suggests 1150, could even get down to 1022. But that's not what we're looking at as we speak right now. So if you are in this, I would stay in this. We had a request to take a look at. We've got several requests, and I've got about a minute to do them. So I'm going to do them quick. NXPI, as we take a look at it, uh, I don't have a, a topping pattern uh, price is pulled back it's above its oscillator and change line in the daily time frame so this continues to uh, look uh, bullish out here uh, that's NXPI the uh, next request was to take a look at uh, nice NICE so let's put this over here NICE this looks nice from a stock charting standpoint the gap to the upside today I don't see any kind of a topping signal out here for the daily time frame so I would remain long this if you are long NICE the stock chart looks very very nice the next request was to take a look at NVIDIA we take a look at NVIDIA price yesterday pulls back and tests the bottom of that daily profile it's a new profile out here so this remains bullish it has a valid TD9 count top so it's really neutral it's very much like we took a look at with um, might have been NXPI I think or no it was I forget which one we were looking at out there uh, but in any event uh, price pulled back there's nothing wrong uh, it does have a valid top so it's kind of in a neutral setting as we speak right now and uh, then the last one was plug I believe so let's pull over plug. I think this is for Mike P. And as we take a look at plug, nice movement today. No topping signal that I see. It's taking out a TD9 count. So, Michael, if you're long plug, remain long plug. You'd like to see this close today above 42.95. You're trading right now at 43.75. That's wonderful. Hopefully, I did get to your request out there. If I didn't, my sincere apology. But stay tuned. You've got two more great hours, and uh, just uh, send in a request to uh, your favorite polar bear. That's David White. He's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien will take us on home, and I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.